Hey there and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be finishing decorating for Christmas 2021 and I cannot wait. This has been such a wonderful time of year to be decorating around the house, but I have to tell you, I'm so excited to be done. We're gonna be doing the kitchen, the dining room, and kind of the entryway into the pantry. If you're new here, my name is Laura Nicholson. I do all things home decorating and cooking and I would be so honored if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you're returning, it's great to see you. Let's jump right into this video. For the kitchen, I wanted to actually do a nice little tablescape in here for the kids when they get home from school. I wanna do a kind of gingerbread theme cookie party in here. It's their last day of school before uh, winter break, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you what I'm gonna do in here. I picked up some great dishes from Home Goods over the years, so I'm just gonna lay those all out, and then I'm gonna actually be putting some plates out. That way they can have some snacks while they get decorating on their gingerbread houses. <laughs> Since it's been super cold here, I live in Northern California if you're new to my channel, and it's been really cold here recently, which has been weird because we had like 75 degree, 80 degree days in December, and now it's like 41 degrees. So it's pretty cold here. So I wanted to get some coffee, some like little coffee cups so I could add some hot cocoa to those, and then start putting out all the little candies that they can use to decorate their gingerbread houses. How is decorating going for you guys? I'm sure most of you are already done. I know I'm a little late to the game this year, but um, I definitely wanted to make sure I shared everything along the way with you but how has your decorating been going I decided to add some really simple napkins here just because I know it'll be kind of messy with all the candy and chocolate. So I decided to just grab these. I picked these up at Home Goods a couple years ago and they just have a really simple red ribbon around them. And then I'm gonna use these cute little black napkin rings I picked up at Hobby Lobby, I think last year or the year before. But I just kind of want to keep this nice and simple and enough room for the kids to be able to do all of their crafts. I picked up gingerbread houses that don't come with candies. I picked up a bunch of candies at Target and I'm just gonna kind of place them around the table so the kids can all share these while they're decorating their gingerbread houses. I love these little chocolate stir sticks. You can grab these at Home Goods. I get them every single year and they're just so cute to put in the hot cocoa and just gives it a nice thick chocolatey taste. I'm gonna add some little cookies up here for the kids to snack on. So hopefully they won't eat all of the stuff that's meant for the gingerbread houses, but I do wanna put some like sweet little things and treats around here. I'm gonna add a couple of these chocolate covered Oreos and I also have some like little peppermint on them. Just give a nice little Christmas touch. These are super delicious. You can find them at Trader Joe's. Flake of snow is set to fall today. It comes to say that Christmas is on its merry. I'm just gonna add a little bit of candy around here, just some cute little finishing touches for our little gingerbread tablescape, but this was so much fun and the kids had so much fun decorating and all being together in the kitchen over some hot cocoa and some delicious candy, but I love how this turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. This 
I love how this little gingerbread tablescape turned out. The kids and I had so much fun decorating and eating some candy and having some cookies and hot cocoa and it was just really fun to do this. I would love to invite you guys to um, come back to my channel and probably two days from when I post this because I will be releasing my um, home tour for Christmas 2021 uh, in the next coming days. So I really hope that you guys can come back and see that. But since we're done here in the kitchen, I want to head into the dining room and get started in there. Before we get started, my darling Enzo wanted to wish you all a very happy holiday and stay warm and healthy and she loves you and can't wait to see you in 2022. So for this sideboard, I actually wanted to put my nativity here. I usually put it in the entryway, but because that's kind of a path, like a pass through area of our home, I wanted to create a real beautiful spot to put this. So I decided to put it on this sideboard and I think it turns out really beautiful. I picked up this old wooden church from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And then this nativity set is actually an antique that I picked up here in, um, in our town. There's a really cute antique store where I, I was able to get that. I'm going to tuck in some pretty little mercury glass. I love these. I think they just bring such an element of elegance to this setting, but I will link down below everything I can from this video, including the furniture in here, because I do get lots of questions and I always forget to link stuff. So I will definitely be linking down everything I can in the description box down below. To make this just a little cozier, I wanted to add some sparkly snow. So I'm just going to be adding snow all over the top here. And I think it really just creates a, such a beautiful effect to this nativity. Snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas When everyone's around To share this holiday Yes, it's a time for the dining room, I decided to go a little bit more modern and a little, I don't want to say minimal because that's not the right word for anything I do, but I wanted to just make it a little more modern. Tell me in the descriptions down below if you can, if you want, if you know what this kind of look is, because I, I don't really know. I just, modern is the only thing that comes to mind. So I've got our trees decorated in the corners. There's kind of like a little red and black theme going on, a little snow lift or opera ski kind of vibe to those. And then for the tablescape, I wanted to do kind of a deer feel. I noticed I had a bunch of deer piled up in one of my boxes. So I decided to put them all over this table and just kind of let it stay here. We haven't been eating at this table recently. The kids and I, we've all been eating in the kitchen for some reason. So I thought it'd be okay to add these nice pillar candles and just kind of show off all the deer that we have in our, or our Christmas stuff. All the stars shine much brighter. Is it just your I'd love to know in the comments down below, what is your absolute favorite decoration for Christmas? Other than the main Christmas tree, like what is your thing you get out that you love every year? Mine is probably the big giant Santa that's in our kitchen, but I'd love to know what your favorite is. Love in this winter wonderland. I'm gonna tuck in these really cute little spiced picks that I picked up from Michael's a couple years ago. I used them on my tablescape last year, but they I actually tucked them into the napkins. If you wanna see that video, I'll link it down below so you can see that and all my other Christmas videos as well if you were just looking for a little more inspiration before the big day. I picked up these napkins at Home Goods and the napkin rings as well, and I think this turns out pretty simple. We ended up sitting here this night, and it was just so nice to kind of sit with the little meadow in front of us of deer and the beautiful lights from the Christmas trees in the corners. I cannot wait to show you how it all turns out. 
Over here, I'm going to just add some more mercury glass to it. I think I'm going to put these pillar candles here. I have a couple spots where I want to put them, but these are really heavy, and I know the kids can't accidentally kind of knock them over. And our naughty elves snuck into these little atriums and they are so silly i love these do you guys use these elves at, at your house if you do definitely tell me in the comments down below what to do with them each night i am not that creative when it comes to these things but my kids absolutely love them I love how this room turned out. It's so fun to have Christmas trees as decoration in the corners and all over the house. We only have really one traditional tree, which is where our presents go, but I love using lots of Christmas trees just to bring warmth, and I like the light at night. It looks so magical in here, and I will do a home tour. I'm also gonna be doing a PM home tour, so you guys can see everything as it is lit up at night, which is also really beautiful as well. We'll go outside. I'll take you guys through the house and upstairs so you can see everything but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all my other Christmas videos I will link them down in the descriptions below if you're looking for a little bit more uh, inspiration but it was really fun to do this with you guys again this year and I hope that we can see lots more of each other in 2022 if you haven't already definitely hit the subscribe button so we can stay connected I am going to try to get on a schedule next year where I post regularly it has been hard for me just because I work full-time but I'm hoping to do more in the coming year and I can't wait to have you guys join me. If you guys are new, my name is Lauren. I do a lot of home decorating so if that's something you're into, definitely hit the notification bell so you know when I post. And if you're returning, thank you so much for all of your kindness this year and for supporting my channel. It means the world to me to have you here and I really do look forward to getting to know more of you over on Instagram as well. It's an easier app for me to be able to talk to you guys but I'm always down in the comments doing my best to get back to each of you. So thank you again for making this possible for me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.